everybody, let's get to work. Ooh, I kind of like that one. The best dressed man in Nova Scotia has a job that's made to measure. He's been selling suits for 70 years. How's that for a perfect fit? Morning. Nice day, isn't it? You're not still yeah, working, nice are you? Yeah. You're still working? That's right. Oh, you better be tired. Theo Mansour is on his way to work for about the 17,000th time. <laughs> He's been making the same trip for 73 years. Morning. 89 years of sartorial splendor. Good morning. Theo knows everyone, and everyone knows the best dressed man in Amherst, Nova Scotia. Theo Mansour, he's been like that for years and years and years. Oh, I like clothing. I just love it. I think I better put a suit on there. 44, 46, was it? Theo's store, Mansour's, has been putting Amherst men into top quality suits for three generations. Looks like a glove. It all started from the back of his Uncle Mike's peddler's cart. We're going to cut the cake now. Today, anyone who has worn a suit in Amherst is here to celebrate the store's 75th anniversary. Measure off. <laughs> My granddad bought from Mike before they even opened the store. That's right. Two years after the store opened, a sharp-dressed young Theo joined his uncle's sales staff. He opened the store up 24. in 24. Yeah. And uh, I came here in 26. Even the people move away or they have jobs somewhere else, that traditionally when they come back to town, Manzor's is probably one of the uh, most frequent stops. He's a people person, and I think that's what really has created this business. Yeah, we sold you a lot of suits. Every suit I've <laughs> ever bought. <laughs> In fact, I didn't realize until after I dressed this morning that everything I have on comes from Mansour's. We know all our customers for a long, long time. That Mansour's tradition of service is proudly painted on the side of the store. There's Uncle Mike, Theo, and Theo's son Robert. The future is really good. My grandson already started the business. Just like anything else, if you enjoy your work, you, you really have something to do with it. And uh, now you enjoy selling clothes, so that's why I like it. Okay, here's this week's It's a Living Pop Quiz. Give me the next line in Dolly Parton's song, Nine to Five. She tumbles out of bed, stumbles to the kitchen, and what? Prize open her eyes and checks to see what's missing? Swear she's gonna quit, it's a daily decision? Or pours herself a cup of ambition? Pour over it yourself, we'll be right back with the answer. Are you working on something we should know about? Or do you have a question for us? You know, we'd love to hear from you. After all, talking to you is how we make our living. Okay, in the song 9 to 5, Dolly Parton tumbles out of bed, stumbles to the kitchen, pours herself a cup of ambition. And speaking of 9 to 5, by the way, those are the hours we never work here at It's a Living because we are the hardest working show in television today. Here's next week. Have a look, and I hope I'll see you then. All right, one, two... Three. Next week, I'm king for a day. You got it. Hey, king. I think I look good. <laughs> and yes, I do do windows at 500 meters above sea level. Yeah, be right there. We just finished the hot tub. We're about to go into the uh, shower with all the maple leaves. The video will be available for 1995. Send the money to me.